My, my name is John Hikeaway. I am a nuclear physicist by training. Um, I'm in Canada. Mostly, uh, my work consists of consulting um, to major corporations regarding critical materials. But today, I've been asked to speak on something on a topic that relates directly to my understanding in nuclear physics and relates to the environment more directly, and that is the wastewater situation at the Fukushima, the Fukushima Daiichi reactors in Japan by some of the organizers. There is, there is another site in the Central Pacific um, where radioactivity and, and, its, and its impact um, on the local environment and the wider Pacific environment is important, and that's the Marshall Islands. The United States used the Marshall Islands as a testing site for nuclear weapons um, many, many decades ago. The cleanup process there was essentially to shovel the most highly contaminated uh, bits of soil into an unlined pit and cover it with a concrete dome. But that pit and that dome are leaking. And seawater, as we are undergoing more and more climate change, and as the sea level rises, seawater is starting to enter into that dome and wash in and out with the tides. This same sort of technology as used in Japan, the ALPS system, built in that location and coupled with a willingness to maintain negative pressure on the material within that within that that containment dome in other words to pull more water out than is entering the dome at any given time treat it remove not just the radioactive elements but also the the the, the tritium and similar materials that are in that in that material in effect could start to clean the local environment and the surrounding ocean it's a matter of money but again the united states contaminated this site they just seem unwilling to spend the money to try to contain the problem or to clean it up. So thank you very much. And uh, I'm happy to answer any questions if there is time to do so. Otherwise, please enjoy the rest of the session.